Okay, episode 47. And um, the good thing is, I guess, is that the people isn't really that... I guess it, it's a good thing that they didn't really... The, the citizens are not informed about those lacrima and I guess that would create a panic at the same time it would ruin the reputation of fairy tale and I guess Urza is here again just, uh, just like as usual going to sacrifice herself to protect the oh and she's push, pushing her magic limit way to watch But, and the biggest problem with this is that it's not just accumulating that amount of uh, magic power. It's that it will go back to her. She will receive all of that damage again. So, I think Laxus has really, should really be thinking about, I guess, it's kinda arrogant and stubborn right now. And Natsu has to beat him in his salamander form. I hope that's enough though. Because they never really clarified if he's if he's at the same level of Urza or much stronger than Urza. Just like with the phantom, she she. she. The sky. Oh, maybe. Maybe if every member of the guild would try to destroy it, I think that would at least lessen the burden of Urza. Oh, and the bad thing is, what if... Because of this, almost all of them would might be put out of commission and the bad thing is, Gajil is trying to infiltrate the guild. Oh, great. And the problem is if they're all f if they're all wasted or tired doesn't have any magic power and then Gajil tries to attack them or destroy the guild. Maybe a new another guild or a dark guild will try to take over Especially, all of them are involved. Even the master is... Oh, I'm really worried about this. And this is... Sad thing is the master isn't even there to unite them. I guess it's <laughs> it's yeah <laughs> yeah. I guess they should really explain. They should really explain what the, those are. At least Urza Urza would just just destroy a few of them not all of that oh Lucy I hope maybe they'll lis listen to Lucy yeah explain it to them so that they would s sense the urgency of this thing 
Lucy for Guildmaster. <laughs> I guess that's going. To, that's uh, go, pitching. Going so that's kind of impossible <laughs> for now. But for now, there's she has a uh, great potential. Especially as a celestial wizard. No. Oh. I guess she's the only one who's really not fighting in fighting with the others. Uh I guess they needed just they just they just needed one voice that is really <laughs> Yeah. No. It's a good thing that <laughs> but still it's taking a toll on her. No. And they're starting to fight again. Yeah. Ah, and that's the yeah. It's it's really going to happen. Kind of seeing it. All of them out of commission, and then then the real enemy comes. Even Lassus might be out of commission. So who's going to protect to protect the guild at that time? I guess Mr. Ganjelal is... I hope he didn't leave. I hope he's just still around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing... Oh... <laughs> oh, 200! Ah, oh, but that would still be... A lot for her. Because she's going... Oh, there it's going. Oh, even Mir Jane. Oh, but the link, body link. I think I'm thinking maybe Lassus was maybe maybe last someone suggested this to Lassus so that uh, I think there's a bigger problem that they're going to have after this thing with Lassus. Oh yeah. And Urza's going to take... Yeah. And now who's left? Only Jalal. Oh. I guess Natsu is still around. But he'll be fighting Lassus. At least, at least, kind of lesson. At least, maybe Urza would still be able to fight if something happens. Oh, oh I'm really, <laughs> I'm really worried. Especially that we get with what they revealed with Gajil. This would be the perfect opportunity for anyone, any, any enemy of Fairy Tail, to take over. It's kind of pretty convenient, especially... Uh, 
how he last is doing this. Maybe Ivan, the master, the father of Laxus, made him do this, or maybe suggested it to him. Oh. I guess he d still didn't, doesn't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, is he, the, is he really going to die? It's kind of too soon though. Seeing how many episodes this have. So does that mean we will really see a transition of um, authority of who will be the next Grandmaster? And the, I think, I don't think Pat, Patricia, what was her name? The colleague of uh, Makarov will, will take the position. And she's maybe she's not even a member of Infinity anymore. Oh. He is the grandson of uh, Makarov. Yeah, I don't think that would work. I guess Natsu was only able to awaken the Dragon Slayer because of because he ate Ethereum. I'm not sure if he's able to awaken it consciously by, or by command. Yeah. And where's Gadgil? Shouldn't he be here? Oh, but he might stab Natsu in the back, even though he might. Oh, Gajil. Oh, I think Gajil is here. In that, oh, he really did try to kill Natsu. Oh, he really been pretty messed up. Yeah, Natsu's. I guess this would. Yes, it, this would strengthen the trust that they have for. Gadgil again or I hope maybe Gadgil is really starting to like fairy tale but maybe a little bit and I wonder if Gadgil will also awaken his dragon slayer because he's just the same also almost the same as Natsu yeah <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that. Oh, he's really, he's really out of control. Oh, but this would be pretty convenient for Gadgil if they'll be able to defeat. Laxus, then no one will, will really be left except for Jalal. And then maybe then he'll try to. <laughs> oh. Two dragons versus versus lightning. Would that be enough, though? <laughs> oh. Oh, 
I guess it's working. Oh. Oh. But I don't think that would just be it for Lasus. I think he's still somewhat holding back. Because he is the son of uh he is the grandson of Macro. Yeah. He is an S class wizard. He is maybe stronger or at the same level of Urza. Oh. Oh, he could also transform it to. Whoa. I'm getting chills. He's also a dragon slayer. Whoa. Oh, that's... It's pretty messed up. That's how strong he is. So I wonder how, I guess it's it's just uh, it's a trait that dragons can only be acquired if they encounter a dragon. So that means Lasus. Oh, the light light thing. You can also see also do that. Oh, you can also do that. Oh, he's too strong. I guess he wasn't really bluffing when he was said that he's going to he's going to defeat Makarov. I hope I hope uh, Levy would arrive now, and maybe that would stop Laxus. Yeah. We did get. Oh, I guess everyone would be broken. Oh, oh I think. Ah. No. Will he stop it? Oh. Oh, I, but with this ex first expression, I don't think that's really. I think he's just trying to ignore the fact that. What did he really And there's civilians as well. Oh, it's it's over.
Did he really do? Did it? Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm really worried. <laughs> and I guess we've, we've never really known what Lactus is like. So I wonder what's pushing him. What's what's uh what's his motivation in doing this? Is he just becoming the master? And seeing him as a kid, I guess we never really saw. We only saw him a bit of a glimpse of him when he was quite older. And I guess he's starting to rebel against uh, uh Miss Ma Makarov. But it's kind of messed up though, because if he he's a dragon slayer. He he can use thunder magic and he can, he can also use the fairy fairy law of, of Makarov. Yes, he really he might really might be stronger than Urza and maybe Mister Gun. And I wonder what will happen now, because I thought that if Levi would be able to tell him about that, but but his expressions somewhat kind of worried or yeah. So I wonder what. I wonder what what will really really happen next but yeah so I guess the dragon slayer I guess facing against a dragon slayer that's not just an ordinary dragon slayer is uh, maybe and maybe that um, Laxus also is a able to awaken his dragon slayer maybe that is what he showed he has shown us but uh, I'm kind of word inside us as well with the uh, macro of at a death store I guess it's the he's at a death door it doesn't mean it isn't a 100% confirmed that he will die so maybe something I hope I really hope that they still find a way but I guess it's it's his friend who's, who said it that he doesn't have much time and also with uh, with regards to the lacrima, them destroying the lacrima, I'm really worried about that because uh, especially with Gadgil, but I guess he would be also put out of commission if Laxus also if Laxus really did the fairy law because uh, right now everyone in the guild is out of commission. They don't have enough magic power. They all they're all tired. They they're all um, injured. So. What if I guess Laxus is there and he's the one who's really trying to destroy the guild? But I'm kind of um, feeling that there's a bigger, bigger foe, bigger villain here, other than Laxus. So I, what I'm hoping is, and what I'm, think, I'm predicting is that Laxus won't really destroy the guild. Don't really con uh, continue with the fairy law. Maybe it just kind of made us uh, worried, or yeah. So maybe that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what they're really going for. But I'm really sensing that it's kind of convenient that all of them are out of commission. And if Laxus would be out of commission, but I guess if it's still around. We we'll still have a chance, even though it's something like that. If when, if in case um, a dark guild or the one that is Gadget speaking to will try to take over, because I guess that's and also if he if that guy is Ivan, because I'm thinking maybe Ivan, because Makarov mentioned before that Ma uh, Ivan injured other guild members which is not allowed to the guild which is um, Laxus is doing right now so I'm wondering if he really has something if he's behind what with what Laxus is doing and then maybe he'll arrive there and try to take over fairy tale and become the master and I think that would be a big problem especially with the council what if the council knows about what is happening right now because I'm pretty sure they would be asking questions 
especially with the civilians involved if and also if there are civilians going to be injured or hopefully i guess they won't i hope they they won't really they, they wouldn't i don't i don't think they try to kill any civilian because that would really accelerate escalate things way too fast especially with uh not just the council i think also with the kingdom so yeah so that's pretty much it with what i can say to this episode and i'm really worried now <laughs> and uh yeah so if you'd like to add a few things or if you want to share your thoughts just leave your comments down below and i would really um, appreciate uh taking your time doing that and i would be gladly I would I would really enjoy I really enjoy reading your comments and uh, having no, to know your insights about and also maybe your experience when you watch this so uh, yes yeah, so just leave your comments uh, and also uh, please like this video if you enjoyed watching my reaction and also um, if this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel so you'll be updated whenever I upload my reaction video reaction videos especially to fairy tale and also i would like to thank my patrons for supporting me in doing this and it's this it would it is really helping me a lot in doing this on a full-time basis and hopefully i'd be able to achieve my goal to be able to purchase a new computer that i could use for editing my videos much faster so i could upload um more content and more reaction videos for you guys so if you want to be a part of that just check out the link in the description down below for my patreon page and there you would have an early access to all of my ration videos weekly daily so there's a lot of um tiers there so depending on the tier that you're cho choosing so it would be on how many uh, episodes ahead it will be so please check it out and it would really help me a lot in doing this and uh, again thank you for watching and um, this is kim reacts your daily dose of anime ration videos have a great day goodbye